What's up, man? It's Alphabet Jig, man. Reporting live from the Alphabet Mansion. 90 days out of that motherfucker from having 25 to life. I'm just trying to get my life in order. But I got a full paperwork breakdown of my history and what I went through while in jail and just trying to give a message to the young brothers and let y'all know this is not the lifestyle y'all want. No matter how many false bodies y'all act like y'all claiming, then things add up. So when you get to the other side, they treat you as such. You got to stand on that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do nothing else but stand on that. But at the same time, it's not easy. Because y'all see the lights, camera, action of the superstars that's rich doing this, glorifying all these bodies that they got or they pay for or whatever, whatever. But at the same time, it's levels to this shit. And when them people get their hands on you and they give you that letter and the end of your number, Whatever number it is, whether it's 40 to life, 50 to life, 25 to life, 100 to life, I done seen them all. At the end of the day, when you know it's a chance, you're not going to come home. And you got to live in this environment where it's lions, tigers, and bears. Ain't no guns in there. What you going to do? Could you fight? Could you make a knife? What you going to do? How you built? It shows your true character and what you got in you. Something that only God is with you in this journey. You either a bitch or you ain't. You either a real one or you ain't. It's just that simple. I'm tired of motherfuckers always talk about how real they is. Let the paperwork speak for me. We gonna start off. Listen, I wanna start off with the first habeas corpus I wrote. Nigga, 25 to life. It's dates on this bitch. Let me get this shit right. This motherfucker say 2016. Let me see. I lost trial in 2013. I got to prison. 2014. I got to the main line 2014. I was in a hole in 2014. I went to the hole. Young, dumb shit, yeah. Got caught with a weapon. But just for safety. It wasn't for brandishing reasons. Because where I'm from, we on brandish. If you got it, you're going to use it. Period. But I didn't use it, and they still gave me time for it. I know dudes that done stabbed motherfuckers and only got 36 months, lost the credit. For me, it seemed like they must have knew I was going to get out. Look at this first. I just want the document to show. Look at this. Hey, this Corpus. The ink is on there fresh still. One of those first ones. Look at the date that's on this thing. Look at the date that's on this thing. Y'all see that? That's old as a motherfucker. Look at let's, let, let's thumb through this. Let's thumb through my arguments. Let's thumb through it. So y'all know this shit's serious. I'm not guilty. And they gotta really feel this little pamphlet out. So look, when you lose trial and you get sent to prison, you already have a appeal lawyer in California. They provide it for you. The laws change to where no matter what level you is, if you ask for a lawyer, they have to give you one now in California. Like when you fight an issue, they'll give you a, a, a court appointed attorney to help you with your appeal. But when I went to jail and when I went lost trial in 2013, you did not have that option. You had to figure it out on your own. That's a fact. You had to. Because uh, you got your direct appeal, and they check for trial and error. And once they don't see no trial and error, you be, get denied. There, From that day on, when you get denied your direct appeal, your appeal lawyer is then going to send you the copy of your trial transcripts, right? And then when you get a full copy of your trial transcripts, you have that day from, well, I want to say, you have, I want to say, is it, it used to be it used to be six months, 180 days to file another appeal, which is a motion or a, in, in your courts and in the federal courts to keep your appeal process going, to keep your argument alive in the courts. And a lot of brothers that was getting life sentences at the time did not know that and wasn't educated about that. And I just want to shout out to my, my trial lawyer, Daniel Duvernay, who gave me that insight early because he knew I had a dog in a fight. And he told me, if you want to get out, this is what you do. What they did is not okay. And he took that shit seriously and I take it seriously. That's why I'm on this YouTube explaining this very well to the brothers that's down and fighting for their life. So, man, after that,
you file your direct after you lost your after you file your, after you lost your direct appeal and you filing on your own. You used to have to file a habeas corpus, which is this, and you gotta basically argue all the all the claims that your appeal lawyer argued, as well as any additional arguments. You filed them in superior court to the court that you lost trial in. If for mine it was Alameda County. I filed a court in department with 11 or something. Whatever I was arguing, I filed it in there first because it had to go to the appeal process. Since I lost my trial and I already lost that, so that was a good that was a good enough argument for me to fight, which the jury came back with not guilty of having a gun or shooting a gun, and I never had any co-defendants. So that was like a, a shady way of getting a 25 life. How was I guilty for a murder? Like nobody else was wanted for this crime or nothing. So... It was a it was a particular case that I had to fight for myself because when you get to jail and you get to prison, all they see is twenty five life, twenty five life. They don't see shit up. You know why? Because that's all the paperwork say, like, or they all they say is, is murder. Or uh, look, let me just show y'all. This is my abstract of judgment when I lost trial. This dates on this. This is documented twenty thirteen. So y'all know this is not a game. Like for you clowns that like to glorify them bodies, this shit add up. And believe me, you, this shit don't make no sense when it's on the other side. So I'm just so the camera won't see it clear, get blurry. You know what I'm saying? Documents is filed, ain't no fake paperwork going on. I kept all of my shit from jail because every yard I hit, I'm producing that shit. Not to no motherfucking, to, to some real niggas, to some, to some real town niggas. And, and nine out of ten of the yards I hit to, I ain't even going to have to report because I'm not under no program or nothing. I'm strictly alphabet order, court order, and I've been standing on that. Big alphabet boy on my chest. That's just what, hey, this shit showed you what you're made of at the end of the day. Not glorifying it. Just trying to tell y'all, this is not what y'all want. You see how old my first appeal is? My how old my first one is in? Let me see. My how old my first appeal is. Look, this is the trial transcripts. Like, this is part of my trial transcripts. Like, but you see how, but you see how old the first appeal is compared to the one I just filed to get out recently. What this? 2018. You feel me? From 2016. And then I had a newer one. I had to file. Like, I done fought my case multiple times in court. Like, and, and it's just and it's just a part of the process. You can't get away from it. If you caught and you there, you have to play this game, the paperwork game. You got to learn the law. You got to fight. You got to fight. Let me find all this shit. While I was in there, I wasn't being no dummy. Plenty of accomplishments. Plenty of accomplishments. You know what I'm saying? Trades and health facility maintenance certificates and you got to better yourself mentally as well as stay working out physically. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. That's just how it go. Respectfully to all the dudes that's holding it down. You know what I'm saying? I send mad love to and I stay tapped in. That's, that's important. As well as I, I left up out of there with a trade. I did not let them destroy me or or, or, or dictate my, my where I'm going with the future of my life. Whatever I have a trade and customer service, certified customer service, so you can see that it's clear. You know what I'm saying? As well as I'm a, as I'm a, a dog trainer in there. You know what I'm saying? Then I got my customer service license. You know what I'm saying? A lifetime. You know what I'm saying? So you see, it's legit. This how I go. You feel me? So you know. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to better myself and send a message to the youth that this is not what y'all want. You feel me? I was blessed to get out of my 12 years and be blessed because I got the right people in my corner that held it down the same way as I did. And we respect that. So I advise you to do something else instead of talking about them bodies that you trying to, you're going to worship on yourself or, you know, or somebody might falsify and put on you or whatever, but... You know, y'all youngsters don't want that. But I'm going to continue to break down the law on my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. I made y'all to tune in. Alphabet Jig.